Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung-min. South Korean President Yoon song yeol will embark on a trip to Saudi Arabia and Qatar to strengthen economic cooperation and discuss security amid the conflict in the Middle East. He will be the first South Korean leader to make an official visit to those countries. Our correspondent Woo Soo-young has a preview. President Yoon Seok yeol will seek broader economic ties with Saudi Arabia and Qatar and discuss efforts for regional stability amid the Israeli-Hamas conflict as he becomes the first Korean leader to make an official state visit to Riyadh and Doha. Yoon's office said the President and First Lady Kim gon will head to Saudi Arabia on Saturday for a four-day stay. His official schedule begins Sunday with a bilateral summit and luncheon with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, followed by an investment forum with over 300 Korean and Saudi firms. Yun will also visit academic institutions to promote further cooperation in the private sector and people-to-people -people exchanges and commemorate 50 years of Korea and Saudi cooperation in the construction sector. The South Korean leader will head to Doha on Tuesday and drop by the International Horticultural Exposition before holding bilateral talks on Wednesday with Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al -Zani. He'll then attend the Korea-Qatar Business Forum before visiting the country's education city. As Yun's six-day trip to the Middle East comes amid concerns that the Israeli-Hamas conflict could result in broader clashes in the Gulf region. Yun's deputy national security adviser said regional security will be high on the agenda during Yun's summits with the Saudi and Qatari leaders. Through this trip, we hope to strengthen practical cooperation with Saudi Arabia and Qatar, while also discussing ways to achieve peace in the Middle East and strengthen our own security. The trip is also meaningful in that, as a global pivotal state, South Korea will contribute to discussions on challenges facing the international community. Also amid concerns of North Korea cooperating with actors like Hamas, Iran and Russia, a senior UN official said the president could well raise the issue in this bilateral summit, as Ho seeks greater support in clamping down on Pyongyang's illegal weapons cooperation and evasion of global sanctions. More than anything, the key feature of Yoon's trip will be his economic diplomacy drive, expanding the scope of bilateral business relations from energy and construction to diverse new industries. 38% of our crude oil imports and 21% of our gas imports come from both those countries. As Saudi Arabia and Qatar prepare for the post-oil era, it's time for us to explore new partnerships. More than 70% of the economic delegation will be small and medium-sized companies whose industries are diverse, covering energy and construction, as well as digital, finance, medical and cultural content. The president will be accompanied by 130 Korean corporate chiefs, including the leaders of Samsung, Hyundai Motor and HANA, to Saudi Arabia, and nearly 60 business leaders to Qatar. This comes as South Korean construction and shipbuilding firms look to procure big contracts in constructing Saudi's neon megacity and building LNG carriers for Qatar. Beyond business ties, the top office says Seo will also look to increase cooperation and exchanges in education, culture and tourism as the countries forge future-oriented relations going forward. Oh Seo-young, Arirang News.